world, individuals sometimes find themselves lost. They are searching for a sense of belonging. When you're completely by yourself, when you're completely alone, when there are no other Jews, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough. Everywhere there's a thirst for a Jewish community. And everywhere I go, people are asking me, how can we have a Masorti community? people call up and say, we've heard about Mazzotti, we don't understand what it is, can you come and talk to us and tell us about it, we think it might be interesting, it might be what we're looking for. We live in a unique age. We are the age that I consider the generation after the Holocaust. In the first generation after the Holocaust, the Jewish communities were in shock, and no one believed that they had the right to exist, and no one believed in building towards the future. But we live in a new generation where the Jews are coming out of the woodwork and people are reasserting their right to have Jewish communities. Masorti came into Spain as some kind of a new wind, Ruach Hadasha. What Masorti is offering in Europe is something that's not being offered by anybody else. We're offering traditional Judaism, which is what European Jews want, but we're offering it in an open and tolerant way and that nobody else is offering. Either you get reform, which is too new for most European Jews, they want the traditional liturgy, they want a traditional attitude to Judaism, or you get the Orthodox, and that is too far the other way. The fact that uh, the Masorti movement considers both women and men exactly on the same levels of commitments and rights made for them the, the perfect option, having a conservative Masorti congregation there. I am equal in the eyes of the whole congregation. I like that feeling. 
Masorti Kilot are committed to halacha and conduct their lives according to Jewish law as determined by our rabbinical assembly rabbis. In the safe, comfortable, and accepting environment of a kihila, we could study, learn new skills, ask questions, celebrate life cycle events, and feel a part of something larger than ourselves. The congregation uh, brought them pride. The congregation brought them the opportunity of continuing being Jewish. So many Jews have a home. The heart of Jewish communal life is the synagogue and religious services. Inspired by our North American conservative movement, Masorti Olami builds, renews, and strengthens Jewish life throughout the world. In Europe, Latin America, the former Soviet Union, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Our congregations here in Latin America are very passional. We congregate uh, more or less 3,000 uh, Jews for uh, Yom Kippur. We have uh, different kind of activities like Beit Midrash, uh, Yeshiva. We have social action, Talmud Torah, concert, theater, because we think that there is more than one possibility to express your relationship between man and God. But why a movement? One of my roles is to head the European Masorti Beit Din. When a community finds that there are people within it who want to convert, when it deals with complicated issues of Jewish law, the Beit Din is the first port of call of an independent community looking for movement affiliation. We need to make a global network with another Kilots to learn one from each other. The network of community allows different communities to communicate with each other and to learn from each other. This year we started to be together and the people from Chile travel to Argentina and the people from Argentina traveling to Chile to make partnership. We send shlichim, emissaries, all over the world that serves the different kilot, more visiting rabbis for high holidays. We're able to publish materials and send it all over the world. Our Masorti conservative rabbis appear in the television, in the internet. They are doing local outreach to the communities. They are fostering young leadership. They have training and education seminars specifically targeted for those communities, for their youth, for their adults. A very good example of one of our new projects is the European Academy of Jewish Liturgy that was launched this year by our Masorti movement in Europe. People study how to lead filot through the internet. They partner with a cantor or somewhere else around the world, and through Skype, they were able to study. You can start uh, from... Uh... And we've got a few students that are doing this. It's a beautiful, very moving project. We invest a lot in our future generation, in Marom and in Noam. It means that we can give more people that experience, that amazing Jewish and social experience. We are very successful in creating young Jewish people who can live in the modern world and retain their identity and practice a form of Judaism which is non-fundamentalist. You feel the religious side but it's not like a chore of having yeah. to do prayers and stuff. That <clears throat> is um, part you of the want, fun of the you songs. Want to yeah. And they explain it to us so it makes sense. It's not just like at home when you don't really know what you're saying. We've built a tremendous relationship with our young adults. Mo'omol Ami is the organization for young adults ages of 18 to 35. We make sure that that age group has the structure. We also strive very much to create the next leadership, to create a place where the next rabbinical figures will come out of. We have big seminaries in Brazil, in Argentina, in Chile, and now we are talking about our Judaism and how we can be responsible of the Judaism in Latin America. Morom has changed the vocabulary around being Jewish. We're striving to make Jewish the uh, cool and sexy thing. And for so many Jews, young adults across Europe, across the world, they've never associated themselves with Jewish organizations. For a majority of the people who come to our activities, this is their first time. And it's an amazing accomplishment to bring young Jews into activities that are Jewish in everything that we do. We are committed as Jews to make this world a better place. 
we have higher representation in the national institutions of the Jewish people, like the Jewish Agency, the World Zionist Organization, the JNF. The conservative movement and Merkaz decided to make a serious commitment to improving Israel's environment. This year, for the first time, we're returning forestry to the top of the JNF agenda. We're expanding the forest and taking care of those we have. It's these kind of initiatives that conservative Jewry can lead in turning Israel into a healthier and better place to live. One of our main challenges is that every center that we have across the world is thirsty for more. And right now we're challenged economically and we're challenged with our manpower because we want to ensure that everywhere that we have stays. The communities out there who really feel that if they had a rabbi or an educator, even if not full time, just a visiting, could establish themselves so much better. My hopes are to have Masoti Judaism grow. If tomorrow we would have people donating for the conservative movement, for sure we could be doing more and better. They need the tools, the tefillin, they need the Torahs, they need the Chumashim, they need all of the things that will help them learn and grow and uh, become wonderful, passionate, Masorti Jews. The community is composed by people from everywhere. We have congregation in Australia. In Japan. We have a congregation in India. In Russia. Uganda. South Africa. Israel. In Ukraine. Poland. In Hungary. Czech Republic. Netherlands. Sweden. Switzerland. Germany. The Ukraine. Portugal. Spain. England. Argentina. In Chile, in Brazil, Peru, in Uruguay, Mexico, Colombia. Our activities range across the world. More and more communities wanting to join our world movement. This is why we need a worldwide Masorti conservative movement. And we invite you to be part of our success story.